Hello, my name is Igor Page. I'm the author of Blockchain Babel, The Crypto Craze and the Challenge to Business. Today we're talking about the role of fintechs in the blockchain ecosystem because this is one of the most misunderstood uh, things when we're talking about blockchain. Now, fintechs are often pitted against incumbents such as banks. They're presented to be, let's say, the new challengers, the new disruptors. But when we look at the facts and when we look at what is going on in the market, we find out that this is actually not the case. There was a very revealing study done uh, among uh, fintech executives and uh, fintech founders, and they were asked about their major corporate goal. So what was their major objectives? And three out of four said, that their objective was to partner with an established institutions. So uh, they are out seeking cooperation. And uh, when we're looking at what banks are doing, they're doing pretty much the same thing. They're out there for cooperation. They're investing in fintechs, they're doing hackathons, inc incubators. They're in different kind of cooperations and consortia. So they're really looking to partner with them and to profit from their expertise. Now, if you think about it, this makes perfectly sense because every innovation passes through three different cycles. You have the fluid phase in which you are more or less going towards uh, finding the right product design and product for the market. You're looking for the right use cases and you're also trying to find the dominant format. So in this in this area, in this phase, you need the small agile fintechs that are ready to change their priorities on a daily basis, more or less, that don't need to convince investors to change their tactics and so on. Now then we enter uh, the transitional phase where the product development gives way to process development. We need more established institutions. And finally, we enter the concrete or specific stage where uh, the advantages are really on the side of incumbents who have big budgets, big brands, an established customer portfolio and who are able to scale those processes. And therefore, it is a very logical step that fintechs and banks are not rivals, but they're partnering with each other. And this is also what we are seeing today in space. Now, we can also say that banks are not just partnering with fintechs, but they're the drivers behind fintechs. They're not just investing in them, but sometimes they're really finding, founding them. For example, R3, which is one of the most important blockchain startups and blockchain fintechs. This was a result of a number of big banks coming together and trying to have really practical use cases and practical applications. So if we're looking at what is happening at the market, if we're looking at what we know from management theory, we can say with certainty that fintechs are not out there to disrupt banks, but they're out to cooperate with them. And we will see stronger links and stronger ties between those two actor groups.